Good morning, everybody. We certainly had a soaker on our hands yesterday, didn't we? Check out some of the observed rainfall totals across the region. These are from the airports and spotter reports. Uh, that 1.81 inches at Buffalo actually set a new daily record for the date. It broke the old record of 1.21 inches that was set way back in 1874. And again, here's some more rainfall totals for you. Uh, Dunkirk coming in at just under 1 inch. Jamestown coming in at 0.73. And look at Dansville, a measly 0.21 inches. So you, you can see how the rainfall varied across the region yesterday. And uh, I thought I'd just kind of throw this in here just for reference. Um, NOAA yesterday just released their outlook for this year's hurricane season. And I'm not a huge fan of these uh, seasonal uh, weather outlooks, uh, mainly because of the limited skill set we have in long-range weather forecasting. I just don't really like these. But here it is anyway. Uh, the National Hurricane Center is predicting an above-average hurricane season this year. Between 11 to 17 storms will become named. Five to nine of those storms will become hurricanes hurricanes, and about two to four of those will become major hurricanes, and a major hurricane is any hurricane over Category 3 strength, and even though uh, hurricane season does not officially start until Thursday, we've already had one named tropical system already this year, and that was Extra Tropical Storm Arlene that formed back on April 19th, only lasted two days before it was absorbed by a larger low pressure system. Let's get right into your sky weather forecast for today, Friday, the final day of the work week, scattered rain showers, otherwise mostly cloudy skies with highs in the lower 60s. For tonight, a slight chance of a rain shower, otherwise mostly cloudy, with dipping back to around 50. And here's your Skyline Weather 7-day forecast, and you can see we've got a lot of rain in that forecast as well. Now, on Memorial Day on Monday, we will have to bring in the chance of more rain, possibly a thunderstorm or two in the afternoon, but that rain won't be widespread. We do see some possible breaks in the rain coverage on Monday, so if you got any grilling you want to do on Memorial Day, you're going to have to kind of pick and choose your moments there. Uh, but again, we've got a lot of rain coming our way uh, over these next seven days. From the Skyline Weather Center, I'm forecaster Dakota Hunter. Morning News Now continues right after the break.